He was convicted of raping a dozen women in Fayetteville and Hope Mills more than 10 years ago. And today, he knows the price he'll pay for his crimes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Deborah Morgan. Johnny Green was sentenced today in Cumberland County. WREL's Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bays was in the courtroom when several of his victims confronted him face to face. Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and today, Favel and Fort Bragg, remembering some of the victims of those crimes. Today, I was in court with several women who read impact statements to the man who raped them more than 10 years ago. This is video of Johnny B. Green from 2019 when he was arrested in Cumberland County and charged as a serial rapist. Cameras weren't allowed in court today during his sentencing hearing, but like three years ago, today he was wearing an orange jumpsuit and showed very little emotion. Green was recently convicted of raping 12 women in Fable and Hope Mills in 2009 and 2010. The victims all said he covered his face with a do-rag, concealing his identity. But Lawman said he couldn't hide from the DNA he left behind after each attack. When we did the uh, genealogy, we got a match to a uh, first cousin once removed. We kind of had to backtrack and rebuild the family tree from that first cousin once removed up and then down, and uh, we identified Green as a person of interest. Green had a warrant for an outstanding felony. We're told his DNA was taken and matched that from rape kits taken from six victims. Today, several of the victims were in court eyeball to eyeball with their attacker. They read statements and told him how he had emotionally shattered their lives, including one victim who said she was on the phone with her mother when Green broke into her home, covered her mouth, and raped her. Those are tough um, when you have something like that because you know, not only the victim is being traumatized, you got the mother that's, that's experiencing that trauma. Green took a plea deal and was sentenced to a minimum of 23 years behind bars. Summer and Dyke reminds criminals there's no statute of limitations on these types of crimes. It's now the suspects that are saying, are the police following me? Are the police watching me? Are the police going to get me? You know, my answer to them is hell yeah, they are. One victim told Green in court today, it doesn't matter how many years you spend behind bars, we will never get back the lives you shattered. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. In addition to the jail time, the judge says when he's released, Green will have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life and be monitored by satellite for 10 years.